we're going to have some fun with Pokemon Lost Origin. Now, I'm a little bit late with this, this booster box. I do apologize. We've had so much going on behind the scenes. But now and today, we are going to open up this bad boy and we're going to see what we get inside because I heard the pull rates are mediocre. Now, leave it in the comments, everyone, if you have actually managed to get some Lost Origins and let us know what you've pulled. It'd be, it'd be great to hear what you've got. Now, the nice thing about these boxes, you get a ward of cards if you're new to collecting Lost Origins. And I think it's very good. And whilst we're talking about if you're new to Lost Origins and all that, I'm going to leave the price on the screen there. And there's all your prices from all around the world. Give or take on some of the prices. It depends what they are when I do this video. But if you want your country listed, leave it in the description. I'll see what I can actually do. Because uh, sometimes it's very hard to find some stores. So the Lost Origins with Booster Box, you get 36 booster packs. Now, the nice thing about this is this just looks amazing on anyone's stand i mean look, look, just look how amazing it looks like you go to the shop and you can just go buy a pack of booster pack that's the best thing about this when you get a booster box no one's touched this except pokemon and they've got their little fingers in there and like ah let's take up let's take out all the alternative arts so what we're gonna do we're gonna put some of these in the background these are great these are these ultra pro um well i use it for the graded cards really because um, i do grade my cards sometimes i'm more of a CGG, cgc person but i have got a few pcas pcs psas i do apologize and also we're going to sleep with these everyone has been asking in the videos recently child card what do you sleep with so i get these ultra pros so if you guys want to give a scan of the barcode or anything these are literally your penny sleeves these are usually just a couple of i think it's about a buck uh, in the uk these are usually about a pound so these are really good buys and they protect your card so i'm gonna get these ready because usually i'm not ready for this so then we're gonna open up our first pack let's get into this whilst we talk about how cool lost origins is so if we get a black code card like that one we are going to show you the code card and we will do four to the front four to the back we won't do it for the white ones, even though you are very, very lucky to get a trainer gallery sometimes, but sometimes you never know. So let's add some suspense to this video because it makes it even better for the viewers, you lot. And there we go, it's a guaranteed V star straight off the back. Lovely looking card. It's a highly playable card, folks. And if, you, if you've got your dragon cards, these are the best. There we go. And uh, not too shabby. Uh, no, it's not too bad. We like that one. Hasn't been cut with a butter knife. So there we go. It's a first card, everybody. Well, that's not too bad. Let's dig straight into this because I don't want this to be a long video because sometimes videos like this go for a long time. So white co-card straight into it because the trainer galleries, you can sometimes get a card and we've got a fairy and a very, very scary looking spider you don't want to see in your bathtub in the night. So... Uh, God of War, Radiant God of War, a very good card. So we've got a black co-card. So we will... Do the four card trick. Don't worry if you do get those. Pokemon haven't fobbed you off. These are the V-Star markers. I've explained it in previous videos. I'm not going to bore everyone with this today. So we go straight into this one. And let's see what we get from a black code card. We are going to get... There we go. So it's a Trainer Gallery Snorlax, which is a great one to get. And we get an Aerodactyl V. See some of our primate friends. The primates? Primitive. No, what's it called? It's a Jurassic evolution there we go a bit of jurassic park going on there so very good cards indeed so we're gonna sleeve you mcsleever these up so there's a v out of just a few packs was it four packs three packs one two three three packs there's our pool so it's not too bad at all it's not too shabby now i'm gonna also say is if you're new to the channel welcome to child card we open up pokemon stuff all the time and have a little bit of fun and if you're a long-term subscriber, thank you very much, my friend. And it is fantastic to see you again. So here we go. It's got a black code card. So we are going to do four to the front, four to the back. An Oddish, a Hisuian, Growlithe, an Ambi... <laughs> Ambipom, and a Sableye Hollow, which is very... Look at the hollow on this. This reminds me of the um, uh, amazing rares from the Vivid Voltage range. That lovely bleed out of this. The Lost Origin mechanic and all that. Oh, absolutely amazing. So there we go. So like I said, the black code cards, you don't always get amazing pulls every single time. So we're just happy to get some good cards. I need some cards for the binder. My lad opened up his booster box. He did get some good cards. He didn't get anything stunning and amazing. There we go. A King Drive Reverse, which is a very good card to play. And there we go in a comfy. So there we go. Oh, let me my boy. Uh, he got some great cards. Um, nothing, no alternative arts. He did get a rainbow magnet. Uh, magne was it Magnezone? Uh, v star which is very good to have um we've opened up some pokemon packs 
off the camera. And we've got most of the um, trader cards, actually, for a change. So a Malmar reverse and a Mar Cargo, which is very cool to see again. Oh, some good Lost Origins. There are some good cards here, my friend, in the booster boxes. You do get some great-looking cards. We're going through a white card stint at the moment but it's no problems we don't mind because we need to fill our binders up so we've got a rose raid and we got a mimikyu which i wish that was a hollow because that is an amazing looking card with a little pikachu can there trying some of those uh pikachu drinks that we did in the past are these it was an ocean bomb wasn't it so here's another booster bot a uh, booster pack god here we go it's another white code card straight into the card and we pull a <laughs> a happy sumo guy and a dust ox which that's a bit of a shame but it doesn't matter because there's some great cards there still so giratina come on give us some luck giratina let's go for it black co card nope like i said we've got a white stint at the moment as so we're only doing this quickly because we don't want to make this oh glastia very nice looking card i do like the horses i do like the good old ponies from uh the uh sword and shield era they're very cool looking I don't want to make this video very long, so that's why we're doing the white co-cards really quickly and the black co-cards, four to the front, four to the back. There we go. I thought I saw a little bit of glimmer of shine then, so let's see what we get here because I saw something shiny. So Gloom, here we go. So Arc Phone, a Porygon, a Ducky, a Blitbug, a Finion, a Zura, a Reverse Magnetric, ma ma Magnetic, Magnetic, Oh, and a dark one. There was nothing shiny there. You lie, dark Rai. <laughs> but the hollow version dark Rai is a very good card as well to have in your deck. So there we go. So still, we've only pulled three packs so far out of everything. So it's showing the left-hand side is a little bit of a at the moment. So here we go. Some more cards. So the Arc Reverse Arc Phone and a Bennett. And that's it, really. But the nice thing about these booster boxes, when you get these booster boxes, no one else has touched them. So when you get these cards, you can have a good old dig through these. You can put them in that one of those dispensers and just, you know, dispense them every day if you want to. But they are a bit expensive. So, you know, don't worry that you don't have to go out and buy them because you have to buy because everyone else doesn't. The triple blister packs are the best pulls. And literally buying just a, you know, some separate booster packs from your uh, local game stores as well, pretty good. So here we go. But we've got a Gumi. And there we go. Kai Rem V, which is very great to see again. Very nice. You know, I'm very happy to get these Vs. What I tend to do is I know I'll get a few duplicates. I tend to put the duplicates in my binder. And then uh, eventually when I've come to having too many, then obviously bit by bit I trade them or I sell them. But I do like to keep what, uh, the, you know, one in the a nice centered one in the binder. I keep one in the back because sometimes you've got a friend that just wants that sneaky one. So uh, that's what we always tend to do with them. So here we go. So lightning energy, wind up arm, macho, Mirage Gate, Shellyars, Hissio and Growlithe. We've got a Ducklet, a Rock Ruff, Seal. There we go. So we've got a Trainer, Gallery, and Numerous, which is really great. And there we go. It's a guarantee the vault. Oh my word. I can't believe that. That is the best pack. Okay. Leave it in the cut. That was the best pack that was pulled. Oh my word. You can't believe how hard it. I've been a guaranteed bit, but this one, I've been after this one because I've nearly got all the training guides. Guaranteed, you, 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 you can, no, I'm joking. I want these both, and it's great to see them both. I can't believe my booster box for the first time ever beat my sons. He's opened up one booster box. I've always opened up another one, and he's going to be so upset with that one. Do you know, you, I'll take them in the back now. Oh, my word. Should we just see this? Let's look at the center of this one. So it looks actually quite nice. Uh, any dings? Uh, no, that's the, that's the plastic on there. That's pretty. Yeah, it's not bang on center. It's a little bit down this corner compared to this corner. But do you know what? I don't care. That's going to go in the binder. I've managed to pull the chase card. I am so happy. So it shows you, everyone. Go left. Oh, look, another black co card. So we have been so so lucky with this oh look another v-star everyone or oh, cheeky look what that one was so here we go Let's see if we get anything unusual it can't beat the garatina v i'm extremely happy with that so worm pull a rye horn a reverse electric and there we go it's a rainbow thornton i was gonna call it thornton but thornton there we go wow two secrets together now you never get that unless you're pokemon of course there we go so it's nicely another rainbow trainer I struggle getting rainbows on um, any of these uh, recent, uh, like, brilliant stars. Um, what's, the, uh, what's the other one? I've, I've lost my mind. Lost the train of thought. Sorry, folks. All that excitement, the Garatine V, and also the, uh, the uh, 
rainbow. Uh, Astral Radiance, that's the one. I've not had very much luck with getting all the trainers and getting all the uh, rainbows. So I am so thankful for all that. So here we go. Let's get a white code card. Let's go straight into this one. And we get a Hisio and Zura and a Porygonzi, which is a very good card as well in the deck. Oh, look, a Poliwhirl. Very nice. Good old po Poliwhirl always gets left out, doesn't he? He's a, he's a great Pokemon, but he always gets left out. So here we go, folks. Black code card. Two, uh, four to the front. Four to the back. We could do two to the front, make it different. So Fire Energy, Drainage Pump, Dotla, Seedra, Shuppet, Matchup, Pikachu, Phantom, Pseudo Wudo, a Reverse Gudra, and there we go, here's your Azurarak, which is very great because you get the V star and you can get the V as well, but that hollow is gorgeous, so very good card for your deck. We're not even halfway yet, oh my word, this video is going to be a very lengthy one, I'm so sorry, if you guys want to skip it, I can totally understand, I will leave it in the description, oh there we go, it's a Radiant Steelix, oh my word. What is going on? I'll tell you what, this is the one card we are pulling loads of. The Radiants this time are constantly being pulled. But do you know what? I don't mind because it's great for the binder and it's great for collection. So, uh, Kyron, you can go with the other Vs. There we go. So, next booster pack. Oh, this has been a good booster pack. I never get this much luck with these videos. Like I said, my son always pulls the chase card or always pulls the better cards than me. So when he comes home, I'll be like, yes, look what I got. And a reverse Disney Squirrel and look at Fleeball. I always call these Disney, Disney Squirrels because they have like the Disney style eyes and the way it's all been drawn. I know it's a greedent. I know. Someone did correct me in the comments about that. <laughs> so here we go. The right hand side. Now, usually the right hand side is usually normally your better luck, but I have recently seen that left hand side has Michael Jackson and a Hooper and a V-Star and a Groot oh Gloom very good uh, the right hand side has been um, mediocre the left hand side has usually had your secrets don't go off by what I'm saying it's just what I've been pulling recently the left hand side has been better I keep dropping that card what have we got a white code card there well, I've got a bit of a mess going on back here so oh there you go well done, bots. You got that one. Remember the code cards, everyone. Just don't go taking them all at once. It's nice to share them out there, and it's nice to allow other people to get them, because at the end of the day, some people do like to play this online. And um, to be honest, I don't blame you. But you know what? We're going to move this pack, these bundles of cards. We're going to put them here, because there's so many cards now. And we're going to go back to this game. Here we go. So let's... Uh, black code cards. And say it'd be nice if we got a black code card. So we've got four to the front, four to the back. So obviously leave it in the comments, everyone. I want to hear how you have got on with Lost Origins, or if you've even you know, you're gonna pass it and you can get the new was it Silver Tempest, the new one. Let us know in the, uh, in the comments because it's always interesting to know how everyone feels. And there we go, enormous V, or actually an en en enormous V. However you want to describe it, it's a love heart from the fart cloud. So very good to see, very nice. Oh, very happy with this. I've got God, look at that. We got a matchy matchy going on there. It's a bit of a love story, isn't it? Very cool. <clears throat> so here we go. So we're going to open some another black. I'm gonna run out. My voice is gonna literally just get destroyed in a minute because my voice is already croaky at the moment. I'm like, oh my word, it's gonna get even more croakier. And here we go. Some more cards. Let's see if we get anything really unusual with this black code card. I do need a few hollows. A reverse slugma, and there we go. Here's you an Arcanine, which is a very good card as well. A very nice. A few print scratches actually on that one. Don't know if you guys can see it. There's a few little scratches on the hollow. I don't think I can get it on camera. There you, there you go. Just down there. I have noticed the quality of Pokemon... Oh, I'll sleeve it. I don't need to sleeve that one. I'll sleeve that one later on for the binder. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the quality control of Pokemon is slowly starting to get much better than what we've had recently. I mean, compared to, like, some of the other cards recently, it'll be really bad. Uh, Stone Jonah and a Clefable. Um, but the quality control, hopefully, when it, the new Violet and Scarlet comes out, hopefully they've sorted out all the little you know, problems they've been having with the print quality. They've sent, oh my god, they've sent them. Those Noivan uh, alternative arts that came out in um, Evolving Skies, they were the worst. If anyone has got one of those perfectly centered, let us know because it is a hard one to get perfectly centered. A lake, and we get a Magnazone V Star! My word, this box is packing a punch today! Wow! Oh my word, I tell you, you can't get any better than this. You can go there, you're next to Snorlax. I haven't had many trainer gallery, like, little cards. I need some more trainer galleries. Another black code card. Oh my word. 
Uh, okay, I'm getting I'm getting all lost here, folks. So there we go. Uh, four to the front, four to the back, and let's go for it. A Dotsler, a Panic Mask, which is an amazing card to play. I tell you what, it does annoy the opponent quite well. Mac Chop, a Pikachu. There we go, the Rosa Raid, which I need is in Trainer Gary's. Very great to see. And there we go, it's a Dark Patch Gold card. Oh, my, what's going on? How can I have three secrets in one box? This is what I mean, folks. This Lost Origins can either be really, really good, or it can be literally a pack of pants. I have to say, I'm very happy with this box compared to my last box. My last box, I think he only pulled about nine? I think nine or ten. I couldn't remember how many it was. And I was like, oh my word. So I'm hoping the stadium boxes, which is going to be the next video. So. Make sure you stick around for the next one, so we do the uh, stadium battle boxes, which are very good. And I don't know why not many people actually get more of those, because I quite like them. Uh, Electrolyte and a Spirit too, because um, you can literally play straight out of the box. You can have your own little pre-release at home. I know this, these cards have been out for a while, but you get a pre-made deck. So if you're new to Pokemon and you want to play with these decks, go get a stadium box, because they are absolutely amazing and they're out the 23rd of september i believe a reverse polygon i need this one definitely and a parasax which parasax which is actually quite a fun pokemon i used to collect um them back in the day on the um older on the good old game boy games when we used to play pokemon i remember i used to have loads of those in a little army i don't know why i collect them this look hilarious so there we go so black code card so four to the front four to the back i'm not expecting anything exciting now because to be honest, I've got three rares, uh, secret rares, and I'm very happy and very thankful for all that. So, Scarlet, Phalanx, Poriwag, Oddish, Reverse, Volvo, and there we go, the Chrysella, which is a there. Oh, actually, that's quite a nice looking card. I like the uh, little, like the little meteors coming down, the little dots of stars. Yeah, that is a nice bit of artwork. I wish Pokemon released this artwork for, you know, so you can buy like pictures on the wall now because I love to get some of these bits of art on the wall. I mean, my office is looking very, very boring. Um, and uh, yeah, I do keep looking at the Pokemon website, hoping they're going to have some like lovely wall art. Yeah, it's a bit different, but I, I don't see anything I like yet. Reverse Nuzleaf and a Manatric. Wait, Man Manatric? Electric Dog. There we go. I know there's electric, loads of electric dogs. So we're getting to like, the last like seven packs, is there? And uh, yeah, like I said, this booster box is probably... Yeah, one of the best. One of the best I've pulled. I mean, the Darkness of Blaze booster box we pulled ages ago, some of our first videos, when my lad pulled the Charizard VMAX. Literally, he literally wet himself with enjoyment. It was so much fun, that was. So, Lumineon. And there he goes, a Rotom V, which is a very good card to see. Oh, wow. More of these. Wow, I forgot Rotom was in this. Oh, yeah, there's a Rotom alternative art. That's a lovely looking card, the alternative art. Yeah, that's that's been cut with a button knife. There's me talking about Pokemon improving their quality control. Nah, I'll take it back. <laughs> so we've got a few more cards. So like I said, the next video, we will be doing the stadium box. Um, what else? What other videos? There's uh, lo loads of other things in there. So, I mean, I might do a video based on the triple blister packs because just to show you how good the pull rates are on those things because they are absolutely enormous. They're no Malamar. And I have to say, even the single blister packs with those amazing Charizard coins. Oh my word, I didn't realize they're Charizard coins. Uh, I need to get some because I didn't get any. Pseudo so, you know, Woody Reverse and a Honch Crow. So if you are enjoying Pokemon Lost Origins, don't forget, very soon we have got Silver Tempest, which is quite sad. I mean, this set comes out and we talk about the next set. I mean, I'd rather just talk about Lost Origins, how amazing it is then when Silver Tempest come out, but everyone else is talking about it. It does look amazing, and I saw they have got a Lugia V-Star. Was it Lugia V? It looks stunning. A Reverse Dark Rite and a Barnacle, which, by the way, this is a really good card to play. I've heard this is like one of the ones you want. Uh, the, the ability of Lost Block, your opponent puts any prize card they would take in the Lost Zone instead of their hand. If you've got this card out and you knock it at a Pokemon, oh my word, you are going to upset some friendships, my friend. Oh well, so here we go to so the last three more packs, and I have to say thank you very much to everyone that has been absolutely amazing, leaving comments, and also just being amazing. I mean, go out there, spread the enjoyment and fun of you know, Pokemon. I mean, the community out there is amazing. Keep it going, my friends. We need to stick together. And a Radiant God of War! Wow! That's a, that was a bit of a surprise. I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't expect, expect to get any more of them. 
But there we go, there we go. But like I said, spread the community, uh, spread the Pokemon community, spread the love because at the end of the day, we are all in this together and we want to complete our sets and not spend as much money as we want, to be honest. We want to complete these sets. So I'm going to say thank you very much to everyone and I will see you in the next video. And let's get some more luck with some cards with a uh, Porygon <laughs> Thank you very much, my friends. See you again soon. Take care and goodbye.